One thing I can't stand is when people figure out how these tricks work, and this guy did. Uh, I don't know how he did, but he figured out that it's the stopwatch. Now, if I take a deck of cards and give it a shuffle and a cut, I'm not going to get anything at all. Notice there's no stopwatch on the table. So I'll deal out, say, five-handed, and what do I have? I have junk. Uh, now, to prove that I just didn't get unlucky on purpose, I'll shuffle the cards again. This time, we'll change it up a little bit. Uh, we'll do seven-handed and uh, in-the-hands cut. All right, so watch when I deal. Seven-handed, and let's find out what we get. Uh, I got the ten of hearts, and let's find out what the next card is. It's not that good. It's not a premium hand. But now watch this. I'm going to put the watch in. It's even stronger when the watch is running. Uh, so now I'll shuffle. I'm guaranteed a premium hand. We'll change it up again. Uh, how about we do two shuffles this time? Two shuffles, and uh, not only that, uh, we'll deal four-handed, and I'm going to say pocket kings. Uh, there's the cut. Make sure when I deal, all the cards come off the top. But because of the watch, I'm getting pocket kings. Thanks, Magic Stopwatch.